Hey, Trail Kreitzer over at Go Hunt. Uh, I'm gonna go through my top 10 items that I think you need for an early season archery antelope hunt. Um, so I'm gonna run through that. Before I get started, we do have a brand new Go Hunt original coming out August 26th. Please, we would love it if you would smash the subscribe button, like it, share it. Uh, we're trying to hit that 100,000 mark, so please subscribe and check out that Go Hunt original. It'll be coming out, like I said, on August 26th. If you're headed out on an early season archery antelope hunt, which I will be this coming Friday, I'm starting to hunt uh, the 15th of August, so I'm pumped. I got all my gear together and I'm getting ready to go. So I'm just gonna start at this end, run through top 10 items I think you guys need. Uh, first and foremost, I think you need a tripod. Um, so this is a Sire uh, ST124 with a VA5 head. This is a great tripod setup. A uh, couple purposes, one for glassing, the name of the game in antelope hunting is finding them. So I think you definitely need a tripod uh, to go along with a binocular tripod adapter and then also a spotting scope. Uh, as an additional use for a tripod, you can attach a decoy to that. Um, so I'm gonna run through a decoy here in a sec, but you know, I, I think you ought to have some decoys, whether that's an antelope decoy or you know, one of the big Angus you know, beef cows. If you're hunting in an area that's got some beef cows, those can be really uh, handy to kind of sneak up on antelope. A tripod makes it that much easier to hold on to and set up. So definitely need a tripod. Uh, moving over into some clothing items I think you need, um, you know, knee pads. So a knee pad, uh, if you're spot and stock hunting antelope, is probably going to be your best friend because you do spend a lot of time crawling on your hands and knees. Uh, to go along with that, an early season pant. So this is the Sitka Ascent pant. It's going to be hot, so that's a great lightweight pant, and it does work with these knee pads. Um, out in the sun when you're antelope hunting, I think you need a little protection. Um, so this is the Sitka Sun Hat, which is a great little boonie for you. Definitely would recommend that for those early season archery hunts. Uh, if you're gonna do some blind hunting, uh, and that's one thing I think you ought to have is if you go out on an archery antelope uh, hunt, I think you ought to have multiple tricks in your bag. So, you know, a blind, decoys, um, spot and stock, all, you know, might have their place and you may end up using, you know, one or all methods to try to fill your permit. Um, so if you end up using a blind, a lot of blinds uh, on the inside are blacked out. So they're completely black. I think you ought to have a lightweight, breathable uh, layer because once again, it does get hot in there. This is one of my favorites, super lightweight. It's got a hood. Uh, this is the Outdoor Research Echo hoodie. It's a great lightweight uh, shirt. Uh, in addition to that, as a base layer, uh, if you're doing some spot and stock hunting in antelope country, this is the Sitka Core Lightweight Hoodie. It's their lightest weight material uh, for early season hunting. Um, it's great. It's got the subalpine pattern, which is a, a nice camo option. Um, I'm gonna to touch on a blind just because it goes in conjunction with the camo here. Uh, this is a new blind. This is Rig'em Right. This is a, uh, a new blind for us. One of the great things about this pop-up blind, besides the fact that it's super easy to pop up, is that the inside of this blind is actually camouflage. So it's the same color as your subalpine top. You could wear that inside your blind. You're gonna blend right into the interior of this blind. So I'm super excited to get this blind on a water hole and get a chance to use it. Uh, moving over some other pieces, uh, if you're doing some spot and stock hunting or if, if you're hunting out of a blind, you need to have a little day pack. This is a small day pack from Mystery Ranch. This is the in and out 22. So it's a, a small pop out day pack that fits in its own pocket. It's got some shoulder straps, which is great. It's got just enough room to fit your daily necessities, your kill kit, some water, some food, a book. Um, and then if you do end up going on a stock, this is a great little addition for you to have. It's pretty cheap, it's 99 bucks for a great little day hunting backpack. Um, spotting scope, I uh, touched a little bit on it when I talked about the tripod, but you're gonna do a lot of glassing uh, to find antelope. If you're spot and stock hunting, you know, it's always great to hunt with a partner and have him keep tra track of the buck while you're working in. So a spotting scope is paramount for those types of hunts. Uh, in conjunction with that, uh, we're carrying these little MagView uh, digiscoping adapters. I haven't put mine on yet, um, but it's a great little adapter that goes on the back of your phone. Also has a cap, so it's gonna protect your lens on your spotting scope, so there's no longer you know, necessarily a need for a uh, case. So that's the MagView uh, Digiscope adapter, and those are super cool. I'm excited to get that one put on. Um, this is my binocular tripod adapter. It's just a Leica Stabilite adapter. Works great for my Timba 42s. If you got some 15 to 56s, it'll work with that too. So it's a great little do-all binocular adapter. Uh, I'm gonna to touch on a decoy. So this is a Montana antelope decoy. It's a pop-up decoy you can see here. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, but that's a great little decoy. Comes with a couple of legs. 
Uh, as those antelopes start to rut, uh, you know, the tail end of August, the first part of September, a decoy can be really productive on the right buck. Um, and you might find yourself in a condition where it's rainy and you can't necessarily sit water holes. Uh, and, you know, decoying is fun. It can be really fast paced when it works. So I definitely think you ought to have a decoy in your arsenal when you head out hunting. Uh, and next, the next item I've got for you is a pair of uh, Rimrock stalkers. This is an older pair. I've had these for a bunch of years. Really quiet. Um, it's a great alternative to trying to just put on a pair of thick cotton socks or wool socks. Um, you just peel your boots off, you pop these on, you got a lot more protection in the foot, uh, but it's still relatively um, you know, soft and quiet. So this is a very nice sneaky pair of uh, overshoes for spot stock hunting. And then lastly, I think probably one of the most important items that you're gonna need for an archery antelope hunt is a range finder. You gotta know the range. In that wide open country, it can be really hard to judge distances, uh, whether that's in a spot and stock situation, a decoying situation, or even if you're sitting on a water hole, you know, you can sit beforehand and kind of range some different items so that you know when that buck comes in where he's at. You definitely ought to have range finder. Uh, this is my choice. It's a Leica Range Master 2400. Uh, and in conjunction with that, my binoculars with my binocular harness, um, I have a set of 10 by 42s in there. So those are kind of my top 10 items for early season archery antelope hunting. Um, I'm super stoked. Like I said, I leave Friday. I'm hunting Monday. It feels like the season would never come. I can say in recent years, I haven't been as excited about an upcoming season, so I'm super excited. Um, so if you got questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer those about any of the equipment that we carry here in the gear shop. Also, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and subscribe, and watch our Go Hunt original uh, available August 26th.